Bingsu or shaved ice is one of the most popular desserts here in South Korea. And it used to be fairly simple. Maybe a little bowl of shaved ice, some condensed milk, some red beans. And if you want to get a little fancy, add some ice cream or some fruit. But several years ago, the Park Hyatt Hotel in Seoul changed all that when they created the first ever luxury bingsu. And ever since then, all these luxury hotels that most of us can't even afford to stay in for one night has been trying to one-up each other in the bingsu game every single summer. And since it's summer and it's hot, outside we're gonna go try out some of these luxury bingsu at these fancy hotels and see if they are indeed worth the hype our first stop is the intercontinental So in the Great Korean Bingsu War, never thought I'd ever say that, the menu changes every single summer. For the Intercontinental Summer of 2017, first one is the classic Bingsu with sweet red beans, shaved ice, Korean rice cake, and check this out, fresh, fresh fruit. Or you could spring 42,000 won, get yourself the mango Bingsu. I think I'm getting this. It comes with sweet red beans, shaved ice, fresh mangoes, and a cheesecake. Now the thing is, when it comes to the shaved ice dessert at the Intercontinental, just regular ice, that's that's too pedestrian, we can't have that. Instead, their shaved ice is made with a mixture of milk and cream. Thank you, look at this puppy. The spingsu may look a little common, but it is all luxurious. Fresh bits of mango, some sort of jello, and a cheesecake sitting on top with a mint leaf. All right, I think the forecast calls for some condensed milk. What I love about Korean bingsu is you guys see how absolutely powdery it is. It's like skiing in Utah. This is the perfect skiing and bingsu eating condition. Wow. Like I mentioned, extremely light and fluffy. Watch, let's make it snow. When you put that shaved ice in your mouth, it's kind of like the first snowstorm of the winter and you open your mouth and catch snowflakes. Now imagine catching like a thousand of those snowflakes all at the same time. That's how beautifully light and refreshing the ice is. Now let's get some of this fresh mango. Wow, they weren't kidding when they said fresh, fresh fruit. My mango is just ridiculously juicy and sweet. A little more tart than Thai mangoes, but super fresh. I am curious as to what this thing is. That's a coconut jelly. I'm gonna try this cheesecake on top. Not a huge fan of that cheesecake. It's not very smooth and creamy. It's more crumply. It's more like a cheesecake cookie. And the Korean way is to mix everything together. Wow. Actually, when you dig in the bottom, there's a mango sauce towards the bottom as well. So let's just take a nice big spoonful of everything. Oh, that is refreshing. This one spoonful, that's gonna cool you down. Is that commercial you guys remember where someone bites into a peppermint patty and get transported into like Mount Everest or something? I feel like that's more realistic if you bite into a bingsu. And I also find it kind of funny that it's such a classy place and there's like live music there and, and she's really good. And then you have me sitting here stuffing my face with overpriced shaved ice. And overpriced shaved ice is essentially what this is. I mean, a cut of mango and a cheesecake cookie, is that really worth $40? All right, let's go to luxury shaved ice location number two. I am at the Park Hyatt Hotel, ground zero of the Bingsu Wars. This is the place that started it all. And what they offer this summer is honey Bingsu, which looks really fancy. It looks like it has some walnuts, honeycomb, edible flowers. But I think I'm gonna opt for the combination Bingsu, choice of two for 44,000 won. I'm gonna combine a honey Bingsu and a regular Bingsu. There's applesauce, pecans, whipped cream, and it's got real honey on top. Now the bingsu here isn't as powdery and fluffy as back at the Intercontinental. This is more coarse and wet. Wow, that's good. I wish it was a bingsu I wanna make snow angels in, but there's no denying the flavor of their shaved ice. All right, let's do it the Korean way and mix all this up. 
That's really good. It's a little less refreshing than the mango bean soup at the Intercontinental because a little too much honey. No, I'm not a bear, but I like this shape that's better than at the Intercontinental. This is the regular bean soup, sweet red beans, and it looks like green tea jelly and some rice puffs. They actually hired a chef here that only takes care of the red beans. Oh, the regular one's really good. That red bean is almost at a perfect stage. It's a little chewy. Like the whole bean is there, but it, it's very, very moist. And I think this is a green tea jelly. No, it's like a little mung bean paste cube and it just disintegrates as soon as you put it in your mouth. Also, it's got a little mochi on top. I feel my favorite element of this bean soup is really just the ice itself. I couldn't even do it without all the toppings. Ice yourself is so milky, a little sweet. So I, I guess it's up to a personal preference. Do you like your bean soup really flowy, really soft, really powdery? Or do you like it a little milkier, a little sweeter, a little denser? And for me, this wins out. I'm at the Weston Joseph who participates in the Bingsu Wars and their Bingsu looks amazing. We got the green tea, then we got shaved ice with hoji cha. This is a roasted green tea. Then there's fresh melon and apple mango espuma, which is I think some sort of whipped bubble. The price ranges from 24,000 won to 38,000 won. I really want to try out something different, so I'm going to go for the hoji cha Bingsu. Oh wow, it's it's massive. Thank you. All right, this is not the prettiest thing I've ever seen. I mean, it, it looks like Bee's nest. Appearance wise, this is probably the ugliest bingsu I ever got. Of course, condensed milk. And like this little sweet cakes that come with the bingsu. Oh, this thing, you gotta watch out for fallen ice because this thing is delicate. It's almost asking for an avalanche right now. Mmm. Oh, that is delicious. It may look like a mess, but it tastes exquisite. Mm. So this version of the green tea that, that I got, it's a roasted green tea and it's less sweet than say the matcha bean soup. But I feel like this, this sweetness is perfect. With the con condensed milk, this is perfect. The ice is really coarse, just like at the Park Hyatt. So at the Intercontinental, at the Park Hyatt, the ice is actually infused with cream and milk or just milk. But here, it's just water, just plain ice. So everything depends on the tea syrup that's added to the ice. But. <laughs> Wow, that is delicious. And the ice, although it's not fluffy, it instantly melts because it's not compact. It's kind of loosely held together. So as soon as you put it into your mouth, it, it just disintegrates into, into like an icy sweet tea flavor. And it's really delicious. Mm. Also, there's something hiding in here. What is this? Oh, there's little, there's red beans. Wow, look at that. It's like finding a little secret treasure trove. This is like a very important element in bean soup for Koreans. I know there are hotels who hire a chef just to cook the red beans. And I think at the Park Hyatt, they were still pretty solid. There's a bit of a chew to them. Here the beans are more broken down, it's more tender. I like this one as well. This is a very traditional Korean donut cake. Ooh, there's a lot of cinnamon in here. The power of cinnamon is strong with this one. Oh, it's like the gooeyest cinnamon donut. Chase it with some ice. Mmm. When you chew it with some ice, the texture becomes even more chewy. Mmm. That's delightful. I think Homer Simpson will love that. Flavor-wise, this is so far my favorite bingsu. I mean, is this really simple? And it feels like that's what a bingsu should taste like. Cold, not too sweet, very refreshing. This one definitely checks all the box for me. The only thing is, I don't see how this should be 23,000 won. I mean, the last two bingsu, they tasted all right, but they definitely had the fancy look and that aura of expensiveness. This just tastes like some bingsu I, I, I should get out of a simple cafe. The sampling of the luxury bingsu war continues as we head to location number four. This is insane. This bingsu arrived in a glass case, just like diamonds. It's like diamonds would, we're like, we're like a crown jewel. Bingsu on top, and then there's mango sitting on top of what I can only assume is more bingsu. And then there's red beans on the side and mango ice cream as well. You're supposed to put the mango ice cream on top of this mountain of mangoes and ice. I never have shaved ice arrive in protective, maybe bulletproof casing before. So I assume this is gonna be really good. Mm. The ice itself, if you guys can see, it's kind of like how stickly. It's almost like wooden slivers of ice. And I just wanna taste the ice on its own. 
The ice is not just simple water. It's either milk or cream in this ice. I'm thinking there's something in the bottom though. I'm gonna keep digging. Pour the red bean on this and digging to the bottom reveals nothing. There is nothing special in the bottom of this pile of bingsu. I'm gonna try the red bean. I feel like the red bean is just okay here. The star of this bean soup is 100% the mangoes. The ice itself, again, not so fluffy like the intercontinental. And the flavor is okay, but 42,000 won. I feel like I'm really just paying for a lot of fresh mangoes in a protective shield casing. I feel like this bean soup overall is not as good as the intercontinental because I think I prefer the powdery ice more. And I don't know if that's just because I love the skiing powder. But one thing I do like here better than the intercontinental is the mangoes. The mangoes here is kind of like what I had in Thailand. It's not as tart. It's really Really sweet and juicy, super fresh and delicious. Mm, mangoes here are definitely better. So overall, I don't know which one I like more. I feel like as a as a mango bingsu, because this is a mango bingsu at the Intercontinental, I also got a mango bingsu. It's gonna be more of a competition between the mangoes. And being that they are the same price, I would have to say this bingsu is better. So far, I've tried four luxury bean soup from four different fancy hotels participating in this senseless battle known as the Bean Soup War of Soul, which actually sounds like it could be a really cool video game. And although those bean soup tasted really good, I have to wonder, do they really taste that much better than an average priced bean soup? Well, let's find out. I am at a Yidia Cafe in Seoul, and this is a very common cafe chain. And of course, they sell a variety of bean soup, but here it only costs around $8.50. First glance, there is no I own a Bentley aura around this bean soup. Or anything it's not it doesn't look super fancy but neither was the one in the west the texture of this bingsu is it's incredibly soft it's not as powdery again as the one at the uh, intercontinental and it looks very milky that tastes really good. It tastes so good, I want to hug it, but then it all melt. This bean soup is incredibly milky. It tastes sort of like a soft and flowy strawberry shortcake. The ice itself is creamy. It's strawberry-y. It's just really good. Let's try this little cheesecake here. It's basically a little cube of cheesecake, but as delicious as this bean soup is, it does taste sort of artificial. <laughs> you can tell this is probably not the best thing for you. I mean, the fruit is not fresh. The ice itself is not that refreshing. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's delicious. It's just like snow days in New York. It's like every other shaped ice place I've been to, but you can tell the quality of the ingredients is not there. So yes, in my opinion, this $8.50 bean soup is nowhere nearly as good as the luxury brands. But at the same time, a few days ago, I went to another chain store that just sells bingsu called Soul Bean. And the bingsu there only costs around $14 or $15. So in terms of red bean quality, shaved ice mixed with cream or milk, I really could not tell the difference between a $40 shaved ice and a $15 shaved ice. So I guess to me, after eating through the different price ranges of bingsu, I feel like paying $40 for shaved ice, that's really not worth it. But I guess there's also the ambience factor, right? When you're paying $40 for bingsu, you could just sit in a beautiful lounge that looks out over the beautiful skyline of Seoul. Again, everything I mentioned, it's just my own personal preference. And all the places I went to in this video is listed for you guys in the description box below. Go check them out. Go eat a bingsu and let me know which one do you think is better. And as always, thank you all so much for watching this video. And until we eat again, I'll see you later.